Some have coined the term cosets, uh -huh. others are calling it mask knee. Heard that one? Yes, face coverings now being blamed for an increase of a skin related problem. Yeah, and it's not just pimples. People are seeing redness, rashes, even peeling, and it's right there on your face. Joining us live this morning with some expert advice on how to keep our skin clear as we all safely wear our masks is Dr. Phoebe Rich with the Oregon Dermatology and Re Dermatology and Research Center. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Good to be with you. So I know this has been a, a fun experience for everyone as we, <laughs> as many of us start wearing face coverings for the first time. Uh, I know we all know it's good to wash our face, but I would imagine we might need to change up the routine a little bit now that masks are involved. Yes, absolutely. And, and face masks are crucial. We all know we need to wear them. They're not an option because they keep us safe and protect us uh, and, our, and our coworkers and others around us. So um, uh, it's important to know how to, wear, how to wear a mask, what kind of mask to wear, and how to care for your skin so that you don't have problems with your facial skin under your mask. Um, we see itching, we see stinging, burning, um, and exacerbations of eczema, psoriasis, um, atopic dermatitis, rosacea, other things under, under the masks. And, and especially people that are in their mask all day long and, and talking, there's moisture under there. Um, a lot of people get severely chapped lips. I know I do. And there's some things that you can do. Um, with most skin things, I think it all starts with hygiene, um, washing your face every day be, uh, in the morning before you uh, put on your mask. Um, uh, moisturizers are also beneficial because they provide a layer of protection uh, between um, your skin and the, and the mask. Um, you want to use a mild moisturizer, um, something that's hypoallergenic, and, and a mild cleanser as well. Um, and, and avoid things that can uh, irritate the skin, like um, astringents, alcohol-based products. Uh, some aftershaves, for example, bother men's skin, cause stinging and burning. Um, and and, and kind of keeping away from those things can be helpful. Yeah. Oh, so if we, if we normally have like a toner or an exfoliant as part of our routine, maybe back off on that a little mm -hmm. bit right now? Absolutely. I think that can certainly exacerbate uh, the, the, uh, the dryness and irritation and stinging that we see under our masks. Yeah, um, I know my, my 10 year old has had a lot of itching like on her chin um, as a result and I've given her the hydrocortisone cream. Is that recommended or should I not be doing that? No, that's a great place to start. I, I, I think that's a wonderful thing to do. Um, I think, I think if, it's, if it's simply just chapping things like uh, petroleum jelly and you know, plain old Vaseline uh, for chapped lips, putting it on in the morning after you wash your face, and then again, before you put your mask on during the day, and even at bedtime can help minimize that sort of chapping uh, irritability that, that can occur um, um, under your mask, when, especially if you're talking all day long. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. No, okay. I know one thing that, that we struggle with is makeup under a mask. You know, mm -hmm. we have to do all the TV makeup, but you know, other people are wearing makeup during the day. And if you're taking the mask on and off, uh, that's probably going to lead to some issues. That's a very good point. And, and it, especially if you're acne prone or tend to have a problem with rosacea, the heavier uh, makeups can definitely exacerbate that. So it's good to try to avoid it. And, and the good thing about a mask is that nobody can see your face while you're wearing it anyway. So <laughs> Is, a, is, is an okay thing to do. Yeah, now if, you, if you can't avoid it though, because I don't know that, you know, I'm not going to show up on TV without the makeup. So, Sadly, no. So, no. I mean, is there, are, are, do you have any tips for that? I mean, I just, I end up with a lot of makeup on the inside of my mask. Should I be washing them, you know, very frequently as a result of that? Absolutely. Mask hygiene is very, very important. Um, and, and I think, first of all, choosing a mask, choosing the right mask is important because you want something that has a snug fit, especially over the nose and around the cheeks, under the chin, um, because that's where we need the protection uh, from the virus. Um, and then also choosing the right fabric. Soft cotton seems to be um, gentler on the skin, avoid synthetics, you know, rayon and scratchy kinds of polyester things can irritate the skin even more. Um, washing the mask is very important. Hot water is what's recommended uh, with a detergent. Usually a laundry detergent that doesn't have fragrance is, is a good idea, so you're not inhaling fragrance all day long. Um, and then um, I, think, I think it's also important to, to change, when, when you change your mask, you, know, you wanna take mask breaks during the day if you're working all day in your mask. Uh, wash your hands very carefully, very thoroughly before you touch your mask and before you take it off and put it back on 
think those things are all important. Yeah. Um, all these other little, all these other little things that come into contact with your face, not necessarily mm -hmm. your face that can play a big role. Dr. Rich, we're out of time, but I know we're going to post uh, more advice on coin.com. So if you need more help, if you need to get your skin checked out, we'll have some contact information for your office on our website as we all navigate this whole new world of, of mask wearing together. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much and stay healthy. Thank you so much. It's